This is Herbert, the soda can collecting mobile robot. It was built at the MIT AI lab in 1989. The work was done by John Cannell under the supervision of Rodney Brooks. Herbert is a robot controlled by a subsumption architecture. This is a collection of small behaviors that uh, influence the overall activities of the robot. There are no centralized controllers and no world model. Herbert navigates uh, by using a number of infrared proximity sensors around its body and basically following walls and corridors. You can also look for the cans with a laser light striper. Right now it's come out of the door of an office, followed along the wall, and then its laser light striper has seen a can on top of the desk in front of it. When this happens, a robot stops and deploys its arm. You can see the arm going out now. The arm has a number of sensors itself. Uh, there are fingertip sensors, a brake beam in the jaws, and two infrared proximity sensors on the front of the hand. It grabs cans in a stereotype fashion. First it lowers down to find a surface somewhere, then it bounces along the surface until it sees a can in front. It uses the hand-based IRs to recenter the arm by rotating the robot's body until the can comes between the jaws of the gripper, at which point the brake beam senses the can. After acquiring the can, Herbert will tuck the arm back into its normal traveling configuration and attempt to go home. Since it has no central representation, it doesn't have any map of where it came from. Instead, it has an algorithm which uses a magnetic compass to determine every time it comes through a door, will it be able to find the door. It basically has a policy of always going north every time it exits a door. So now the can's being tucked away. As the robot turns, you'll see a red stripe from the laser rangefinder. And now it's using the body IR to navigate back, find the door, and go through the door with its prize.